What's up, guys? It's me, Quite. Hi again. That's that's all you get. I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. I I'm not, based on what it is we're about to look at. So I was just scrolling my favorite YouTube channel, Barcraft TV, mainly because I steal all the video topics from there to react to. But the video I wanted to take a look at today is a documentary on brothers and sisters in love. It is uh, 50 minutes long, and there is no way we are making it through the whole thing because this video is not that long. But I figured we could take a look through this video together and just see if there's a... Uh, anything to justify that title. Uh, anyways, let's get to the Alabama worship. This is a film about ordinary people who decided to trace siblings they'd never met before, but then found themselves confronted by the greatest moral dilemma of their lives. It's one of those taboos in society, isn't it, that you could contemplate getting physically involved with, with your sister. Oh, good grief, what a sentence. It's one of the greatest moral dilemmas in society. To pipe or not to pipe? It's times like this I'm glad I've never had to ask myself this question. Jesus Christ. I'm wondering if all the stock footage they're using of just random couples walking on the beach or in the park is actually of incestuous couples or if it's just random couple stock footage that's being framed as such. Ah, uh, these poor stock footage couples have no idea what they're in for if that's the case. When brothers and sisters grow up separately and meet for the first time as strangers and as adults, they can fall prey to an overwhelming physical desire for each other. A phenomenon now being described as genetic sexual attraction. It's a phenomena? God, times really have changed. Harry Styles said it best, it's a sign of the times. That is really weird though. The fact that estranged siblings, like disproportionately when they meet each other as adults, want to start banging real fast. God. If you meet someone and one sees the genetic similarities, without even knowing it, this could trigger a powerful very, very powerful, erotic charge. The meme I'm imagining in my head, and this is definitely not how it is, but it's way funnier if I think of this completely incorrectly. It's like a person sees themselves in the mirror and it's like, yeah, I'm fucking hot. And then they see their estranged sibling and they're like, hey, you look kind of like me. It's me because you're my sibling. Let's fuck. God, oh, God, I hate this. Okay, I'm probably gonna be cringing very hard throughout this entire thing. Yes, I said the word cringe. It was necessary. God. At a time when more and more people are able to trace siblings or parents they've never known, genetic sexual attraction is a growing reality. Yeah, I mean, if you get to the point where it's a phenomena that gets a name, then there's very clearly a lot of them at this point, at least a relative a lot. I'd like to think that most people wouldn't fuck their siblings. So much so, that over half of these reunions can result in sexual obsessions. Sexual obsessions? Obsessions? Really? Is there like some weird human wiring that like makes you see your sibling and they're like, oh, I just gotta, I gotta. It's so fucking weird, dude. It can be very, very intense and powerful. Uh, I remember one person described when his sister phoned him up that he his heart would miss a beat. This is an old documentary, you can very clearly tell. They're using these old TVs, bro. Get with the times, dog. It's 2019. Almost 2020. It's almost the end of the decade. Who cares if this documentary was made 10 years ago? Just time travel, bro. God. Just invent a technology that hasn't even been conceived yet. Jeez, the laziness on some people, you know? Excuses. Often Often risking everything to be together, even breaking the law. Their love can have devastating consequences for themselves and their families. I love how, like they say, sometimes they will risk everything to be together, even breaking the law. And their example of that is them getting a fake wanted poster at a carnival. Can you imagine if the mugshots that they used on like these novelty wanted posters was actually the mugshots they used in real life? Wanted, this couple enjoying themselves over a very, very blue background that was clearly made for the express purpose of taking pictures in front of that were meant to be candid. I don't think I know a single person who has ever kept one of them fake wanted posters. Like, what are you meant to do with that? Like, you don't put that on your wall. Do you like roll that up and put it in a drawer to discover it 20 years down the road? and call your wife over who can barely walk. He's like, honey, do you remember when we took this picture? This was when I first found out you were my sister and I wanted to have sex with you really bad. We all know it's wrong. I mean, but it just feels so right.
What a dramatic title card. This reminds me of them uh, title cards that I would see in like old school documentaries that they show in health class. And now I'm just imagining this documentary being shown in schools across America. And now I'm about to puke my goddamn brains out. God damn it. When you're a kid in one of these types of relationships, when you're older, do the parents have to break it to you that you are the child of a sibling relationship? The same way that parents have to break it to an adopted child that they're adopted. Though I feel like the taboo around one of those things is far more deserved than the other. It's adopted kids! Fuck adopted kids! See, just by looking at the houses, I immediately know that this is gonna be in the UK or like some shithole like Birmingham. I guess I should stop being surprised when we're considering the fact that it's Barcroft because Barcroft seems like a very UK centralized uh, kind of programming station. But I usually only expect to see weird shit like this coming out of America, specifically Florida, Alabama, Kentucky. But first, Belle Delphine came out of the UK and that was just like a slap to the face for me. And now this documentary has couples that are in the UK. God. Some weird shit, dog. If I look back 20 years from now and then this is seen as a socially ignorant video, then uh, I'm fucked. When retired school teacher Ron managed to trace a sister he had never met after many years of searching for her, he had no idea what a can of worms he was opening. The man's just trying to trim his hedges. Don't bother him like this, guys. Someone once said, if there are only two people left in the world, it'd be my luck that the other one would be my sister. You know, you know exactly what they mean. I mean, to me, it would have been paradise. <laughs> Oh, 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 deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. God, this hurts. This really hurts. I like, I like, I want to make a joke here, but it's like, I'm just watching this video and I'm just like feeling little chunks of myself disappear into the void as they die. <laughs> oh, that laugh. Oh. <laughs> That's a joker in the making, and you know it. A regular at the local golf club. Oh, come, come on, man. What was that technique? You're like. What? That is not how you swing a golf club. You keep your arms straight, you come around the back, and you do it smooth, not too much power. Apparently you're a regular at this golf club, but that golf club should be ashamed of you. <sighs> Gosh. And happily married to his wife Mary since 1957. Married since 1957 to a person named Mary, of all people. Dude, sometimes I'm just saying, sometimes the sister is just so hot. <sighs> I'm in the corner screaming because you guys can't see it on camera, but that's what's happening right now. Okay, I'm back. I took some deep breaths. I also took 10 shots of moonshine. I think I'm finally at full capacity to try and watch this video. I was married. I had two children. I have a son and a daughter. And uh, you, know, you, you might say it's a sort of exceptionally normal uh, existence. Uh, and this is what my life has come to. Fortnite dancing, Millie rocking, and hitting the woe to uh, incest documentaries. Nay, nay, the pain away. You know what I'm saying, boys? I love that TikTok account. Thank you, George, for showing me that. But Ron was troubled by a family secret. Now retired, he started to search for a long-lost sister. Okay, before we continue, though, as a quick little aside, look at this man's gamer battle station. This is an older documentary, right? So it's a little out of date. But even for the time, this dude was juicing. He's got the webcam on the monitor. He's probably got a gaming mouse, a full desktop-like mouse pad. He's got a printer stacked on top of another printer. This dude is on the grind. Even retirement, he is working his ass off to make his end. Getting that P, you know what I'm saying? 60 years later, Ron found her. Well, I thought, really, that uh, she was quite glamorous looking. He almost looks like Murray Franklin did with that suit in Joker. How about another joke, Murray? What do you get when you cross a mentally ill loner with a society that abandons his sister and then reunites them 60 years later? I'll tell you what you get, you get them piping. But I thought she looked well younger than her years, put it that way, and full of vitality. She looked well younger than her years, she did right, she was fit, mate. Oh yeah, she was proper fit, mate. She looked fucking fine, yeah. A British, oh, this all very British accent, yeah, mate. I mean, at that time, I didn't think anything. I was just happy for her. But it was obvious from that first visit of hers that uh, something had happened in Ron's little head. In Ron's little head? I feel kind of bad because this was probably a situation that put a lot of grief and mental strain on all parties involved. Ah, but still, like, the entirety of the situation is just, ugh. Also, this whole scene is kind of freaking me out because of the, um, weird obsession with teddy bears. In this shot alone, a still shot, I'm counting one, two, three, four teddy bears in just this corner of the room. Uh, I'm kind of scared to turn the camera around because little do we know, maybe there's, like, a whole wall over there. The camera crew walks into the room that they're supposed to do the interview in, and then they just see a wall lined with teddy bears. Some fall together, others been ripped apart, just nailed to the walls. And they're like, uh, so how should we do this? And she's like, 
Oh, don't mind the wild dresser. Face me this way and we'll do it on this one, yeah, okay? Soon afterwards, Ron was overwhelmed by confusing feelings for his sister, which went way beyond brotherly love. She began to sort of occupy an enormous uh, place in my life. Oh, God. This is the origins of Discord e-dating. Uh, I feel like Axel put it best. When you fall asleep in the call with your homies and the webcams on, it means you're dating on Discord now. Them's is the facts. He was always on the computer, which is nothing unusual now, of course, but he was always writing letters to her. He was always on the computer because he's a goddamn gamer. I'm just trying to distract myself from the reality of the situation because it hurts. Uh, waiting for the next phone call, waiting for the next, just like a young man in love in the full flight of youth. Who took this picture? This one right here. Who took this picture? The one where their noses are touching and they're about to kiss. Who let it get this far to be captured on camera? Put your hand in between the lips. Stop taking the picture. Put your hand between the lips. Don't let it happen. Put the hand between the lips. Don't let that happen. You had the power to stop this mess, but you did it. You illuminate my life, darling miracle of a sister. What brother ever spoke thus in normal circumstances, but then when were our circumstances ever normal? In any case, you're the loveliest 60 year old I've ever met. <laughs> You're the lovely 60 year old I've ever met. I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, please subscribe. I went through a lot for this. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you, yeah, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Quite and on Instagram at Quite.png. Links to both of those in the description below. Anyway, this has been Quite. I'll see you guys next time.